How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J and today we are going to be giving y'all a full tour of all the pets and creatures that live with us here at our house. We haven't done a pet update in quite some time and it's been a highly requested video from you guys. So if you're excited to meet our pets, be sure to hit the like button and let's get this tour started. So this morning we went to the bait shop, picked up some crickets and a box of night crawlers. These are some of our pets' favorite foods. And then back behind me I have a little mouse here that I thought out for the creature in this tank. We're trying to entice her out from under her rock. See, she'll come out so y'all can get a good look at her, but we'll return to her in a moment. But first, we're gonna go in the living room and we are going to feed some of our fish that we have in there. All right, so we're gonna start off here in the living room. We have three different tanks in here with different aquatic creatures inside of them. This tank just has some fish in there. There's, I guess, one, two, three, four different species in there. And uh, we have some guys up here at the top that are feeling very feisty and they look very hungry. Um, we're gonna start off by feeding them just some flake food. They like the little goldfish flakes, so we'll get them excited, get a little feeding frenzy going. So the little guys up at the top are little long-eared sunfish. They do amazing in freshwater uh, native fish tank setups because they're very hardy. Um, those green sunfish, and then this guy right here is a warm mouth. He doesn't so much like the flake food, uh, so we're going ahead and give him a piece of worm. Or maybe a cricket. Now we'll give him some worm. We'll give him a piece of worm. He's some fat and juicy night crawlers. <laughs> Holy smokes. Big old guys. Okay, let's see what he does. He's about to get excited. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, smoked it. <laughs> the little long ear tried to snatch it from him. He's like, no, you eat your flake food. Here, big guy. Oh, the long ear got that one. So, also in this tank, you see our pet gar. This is a small little spotted gar. Now he doesn't like flake food and he doesn't like night crawlers. He actually likes minnows. So what we're gonna do here in a moment, we're gonna go outside, take a minnow net and go scoop up some fresh minnows from the lake and we'll feed him along with our other fish over here in this tank, which we will show you in just a moment. But he likes worms, so we'll feed him a worm too. Let's give this guy one more piece of worm. Gotta be quick, buddy. Oh, not quick enough. <laughs> Man, those mm -hmm. little guys are fast. All right, so if you look down there at the bottom of the tank, we have our other fish down there. That is a yellow bullhead, and his name is Carl. Carl the catfish, and I'm trying to drop a big worm down there so we can go out there and get it. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh. Get it, Carl. Get it, Carl. Yeah, it. Oh, oh, what no. are you doing, Carl? That was your chance. Oh, I think he wants to steal it from that warm mouth. <laughs> oh, he spit it out. Go get it, Carl. Go for it. Ooh, it's about to be a brawl. Oh, oh, there we there go. go. There we go. What is he doing? He, he's like spitting it out. I've never seen Carl spit a worm out. I guess Carl wasn't hungry. He's being very weird about those worms. <laughs> Normally he gobbles them up, but I did feed him yesterday uh, some little pieces of uh, broom fillet, so maybe he's just full. But anyways, I've got a guy here in this tank who is definitely not gonna be full and who is definitely gonna gobble down a worm. Dropping a big worm down in this tank for our buddy in here. Some of y'all might recognize this guy. This is our buddy, Jaco. And Jaco is a giant Western Lesser Siren. Now, sirens are aquatic salamanders and they love worms. Oh, oh, what you doing? He's up in front of you. Oh, he should sense him any moment. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! Smokes. Wow. Like a spaghetti noodle. Just like a spaghetti noodle. So we like to feed Jayco about one of these giant worms a day, or like several worms equivalent to that size. He's a big boy, and he needs all the worms that he can get. Wow. And it's gone. That was amazing. Woo! Dude loves his worms. And then in here, we have a few other little fish in here. We have a little mosquito fish at the top. You can see him, he's just a little guy. And then there's some, there's some more um, smaller yellow bullheads in there that kind of swim around. They'll probably come out to the flake food here in a second. But Jayco is definitely the star of this tank. Okay, so the last aquarium in our living room has our good friend Gil, and Gil is a largemouth bass, and we've had him for a couple of years. And whenever we got him, he was actually so tiny. So he's really grown a lot, but he's always had that weird thing with his fin. Yes, yeah, so if you take a look at his dorsal fin, you can see he has that weird kind of like alfalfa thing going on on top of his fin. It's just <laughs> spiky. It's always been that way. But he's cool. He's really cool. Yeah. He's a biggin. So we're going to give him a few worms. Here you go, Gil. Oh, he sees that worm. Oh, here he comes. And smoked it. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He said, uh, thank you. So this fish is like our garbage disposal of the house. He eats everything. Ooh, got it. You got any more worms? Um, uh, yeah. Let's give him another worm. We might go out there. We'll probably go out there and try to catch him some minnows too out in the lake, but we'll start off by getting him some worms. He loves him some night crawlers. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Good job, buddy. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up all the aquariums in the living room. Let's go introduce you to the other pets. So the little guys in this aquarium are long time buddies of mine. I've had one of these guys for 16 years. <whistles> no joke, I got one of these guys whenever I was 10 years old, and the other one I got eight years ago. So they are eight and 16 years old, respectively, and they love they're crickets. So inside of here, you could, oh, they, heard, they saw Aww. the crickets, here they are. So on the right, this is Lex, and this is Lisette. Lex is my old leopard gecko. He is 16 years old, and Lisette is eight. Lisette is a dwarf gecko. I thought she was gonna be a big guy like him, but I learned very quickly that she was never gonna be that big. And she has a, she has a nubby tail. <laughs> so she's definitely not as big and boofy as Lex, but they love their crickets. So let's open the tank and let's put some crickets in there. Let me give him just a handful. Here we go. Here you go. You want a cricket? You want a cricket? Meanwhile, oh, Lex, Lex, got one. <laughs> Lex has got one. Oh. 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 oh there she goes. <laughs> Good girl. That's mm -hmm. awesome. They love their crickets. And I love these geckos. Lex, you want to be hand fed? Big boy? He said, Ooh, Oh. Oh, wow. You. Wow. <laughs> Here, let's set one more. One more, and you get, then one more, and you're on your own. You gotta find the rest of them yourself. Eh, eh, ah! eh. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> Here you go. Try that again. There she goes. Here you there go. she goes. Oh, Alexa's on a hunt. Oh, Got him. smoked him. Wow. <laughs> Those are some healthy geckos. <laughs> All right, so those are our leopard geckos. We love them, they're awesome. Our little buddy in this big tank still has not come out to the scent of the mouse, but that's okay, we'll give her a little bit more time before we, I guess, flip a rock over and get her out. Um, but let's move on to the next pet. The pets that we have in this tank aren't your typical pets, but they are definitely really cool. Check out our beetles. This one right here is a Hercules beetle, a female. And this one over here is a Triceratops beetle. And we call him Terry, and we call this one Megara. Because if you've ever seen the Disney movie Hercules, the female in that movie is Megara. So <laughs> that's where we got her name from. Hercules She's... is love interest. Her name is Megara. Yeah. There's lots of females in Hercules. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. But anyways, these guys love fruit, especially peaches. So I have one that I'm about to cut up and once you, which Megara is the best at eating, and once you put her on a peach, like she does not leave it. It's yeah. so funny. Yeah, like one peach will last Megara for like seven days. She just sits there <laughs> and just eats it for forever. She doesn't move. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put the peach in here, and I'm gonna put Megara on top of it. Come on, now that is happiness right there. <laughs> she is so excited about her fresh, fresh peach. <laughs> Oh, look at her. And then I'll put the Triceratops beetle on the other peach, but I don't know if he's gonna stay on there for that long. Okay, so now we're outside and we're in our turtle pen. This is where we keep all of our box turtles and they're really happy in here, but they love this stuff right here. And so watch this, they all just love to cuddle up underneath it. Hey turtles! <laughs> <laughs> and then there's one over here eating some lettuce. So if you guys can count, we have six box turtles. They are all rescue turtles and they all reside here and they love it here because they get fed lots and lots of good delicious treats. They are so spoiled. Especially Tina. Yeah. Tina has been with us the longest. Um, she's definitely the most social and the sweetest. <laughs> so this is Tina, and then this guy right here, this is Tony. 
He only has three legs, but that's okay. Yeah, you don't need four legs if you're a box turtle. All yeah. you need is, I think all you need is two. <laughs> he gets around just fine. Yep. And then this one right here, she's she's our biggest female. This is, we call her Tree Girl. Cole's little sister named her Tree Girl. Yeah. <laughs> so It fits. I like yeah. Tree Girl. And as you can see, she's been eating a tomato this yeah. morning. Ate her little breakfast tomato. <laughs> it's still hanging from her lip. <laughs> Saving it for later, I guess. <laughs> And then this is Chewy. Chewy's a little bit more shy. Yeah, he's been chewed up on by a dog. That's why we call him Chewy. But he's a pretty turtle. And Where are they going? <laughs> they're trying to get back underneath that log. They're being a little camera shy, but this is Rainbow Sparkles. Also named by Cole's little sister. <laughs> and Rainbow Sparkles has a cool shell. It's like yeah. kind of weird. It's not perfectly round. Not sure what his story is, but he is another sweet and pretty social turtle. They're all pretty social. Yeah. And then lastly we have Scarlet. Scarlet Flare. Scarlet Flare, yes. And Scarlet Flare is actually a boy, but um, <laughs> we, we couldn't tell at, at first because if you look at her underside, it's like all jacked up. We couldn't really tell um, by the plastron feature if it was a male or female, but the bright colors um, indicated that it was a male and some other things that she was doing, he was doing in the, in the, in the pen indicated that Scarlet Flare is a boy. Yeah. <laughs> we won't go into details, but. <laughs> Um. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a boy. But look how bright his eye is. He's so pretty. So while these trails have already eaten a little bit of lettuce and tomatoes this morning, um, they are not going to be able to resist these night crawlers. They love them. Especially Tina. Tina, you want your worm? Oh yeah. <laughs> Tina loves worms. All these turtles love worms. And they love crickets, but we're not going to put the crickets in here. They're too hard to catch. <laughs> Oh, oh, now Scarlet, talk about a turtle that really loves worms. Scarlet freaks out about some worms. Uh oh, uh -oh. No tree, tree girl. girl. Be nice, tree girl. Be nice. <laughs> Here, I got you one. I got you one. Get it, tree girl. Woo! Woo! Oh. Rainbow sparkles, what are you doing? <laughs> There's worms over here. Get you a worm. Oh. Tina, you already got one. <laughs> Here you go, Tony. Tony, what's your worm, boy? Yep. <laughs> He's gonna take He's it. taking off with it. <laughs> He's actually pretty smart. So like. He'll always take his worm and run to the other side of the pen so the other trolls don't try to steal it from him. Because Tree Girl is a savage, as you can see, and so is Scarlet Flare. Chewie's, Chewie's being shy. Don't be shy, Chewie. <laughs> don't be shy. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> <laughs> they are so cute. We have so much fun coming out here and feeding the turtles. Well, now that the turtles have their worm fixed, we're going to go down to the lake and we're going to take the dip net and try to scoop up some additional minnows for the fish inside. I know that the bass would love to have some fresh minnows, so let's go down there and get some. I see a few good ones right here in front of me. Did I get them? Oh, yeah. There we go. Got a few. Oh, nice. Oh, check that out. Got some nice, fresh minnows and a little sunfish. Great, be perfect. Definitely gonna get some more, but that's a good little start. All right, those should be perfect. We'll drop a couple in there so the gar can get some, and then we'll give a couple of these to the bass. Got our fresh minnows here in the net. We're gonna drop them in here for the gar, see if he grabs one right away. Don't even think about it, little sunfish. <laughs> if he doesn't get them right away, he'll get them at some point. Would be cool to watch him snag one. Though. Oh, he's trying, <gasps> he's trying. Oh. He got one. <laughs> he got a big one. Yeah, he did. Awesome. I know he's excited about that. Good job, big fella. Enjoy your meal. So Gil wasn't really that interested in the additional minnows, so I just went on ahead and gave uh, the gar the rest of the minnows. I know he wanted them more than the bass did. Since the bass already ate some worms, it'll be good. We'll get him some minnows later. But anyways, let's show you guys the next pet outside on the front porch. So out here on our front porch, we have caterpillars in this tent, and these are eastern black swallowtails, and we've been raising them all summer long, and we've released a whole bunch of them, and we still just like steadily just keep putting more in the tent. There's just so many. There's 
still a bunch out there that we need to collect. They're like super tiny right now, but these are all big. Yeah, let's these take a look at them. These are going to be changing soon. Yeah, so let's take a quick look at them real quick. Look at those guys. Aren't those guys beautiful? Really cool. Bright green, yellow spots. And they are probably one instar, so one shed cycle away from turning into chrysalises, which we have a ton of them up here at the top of the tent. Look at that. I mean, look at that. It's a six stack of them. So many chrysalises. We've had a ton of success this summer, and it's been a lot of fun. And we just gave them all this fresh fennel, so they are good on being fed right now. So we're just going to leave them be until it is time to release them. Well, we were hoping that this mouse would entice our buddy to come out from under her rock and so we could just see her and we could drop the mouse in and feed it to her, but unfortunately that's not happening right now. So we're just going to stick our hands down there in the tank and show you guys what is living inside of it. We'll put this mouse aside and we'll set it down in there once we get done showing you this amazing creature. Get the rocks off. Hello, anybody home? Oh, uh -huh. there she is. Mm. Come here, big baby. Mm. <laughs> okay, so this is our friend Sprinkles, the speckled kink snake. We have had Sprinkles since we've lived here in this house, so we've had her for about two and a half years, and she has just been a phenomenal snake for us. We use her for animal programs, and just for whenever people come over to our house and they're scared of snakes, like she helps people get over their fear of snakes. We're like, hey, we can, you can hold sprinkles and you know, you're not gonna be bitten and you maybe get a newfound appreciation for them. And it's just really, really great. She's a beautiful snake. Obviously gets the name Speckled King Snake from those beautiful speckles on each of their scales. And as you can see, she's very docile, very gentle. <laughs> Look at the geckos. Look at them. Oh, they're like. <laughs> they're like, they're like, they're like, I wanna see the snake. Aww. <laughs> like sprinkles will eat you. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny, look at them. They're actually probably begging for more crickets. We'll have to throw some more crickets in there. That's so funny. But anyways, this is the creature that lives in this big tank and uh, she's just awesome. She loves that rock so much. Like, we've been thinking about taking the rock out because we don't see her very often unless we feed her. Um, we thought maybe she would come out more often if we didn't have the rock in there, but we can't do that to her. No, she loves it. she loves it. She loves her rock. But anyways, that's Sprinkles and uh, we're gonna place her back in the tank and then we are going to set that rat on top of the rock so she'll come out and get it whenever she wants to. Really cool. We love this snake. Back to your hidey hole, Sprinkles. <laughs> and of course, she's like gonna go right back underneath that rock. But we are going to place this rat. Maybe she'll smell it. You smell that? Maybe she'll eat it in my hand. No, she's going underneath the rock. We'll just put the rat right there. She'll get it at some point. She always does. That's what makes her, makes her so good. She's such a good eater. So we're saving the best pets for last. <laughs> These are our furry friends, Buggy and Junebug. And they are the sweetest little puppies. Literally the sweetest puppies we've ever had. Or I've ever even met. Yeah, they're, they're so just, sweet. They're so sweet and cuddly all the time. Buggy's a lot more lazy than Junebug, but she's still pretty active. But Junebug loves to do like all the stereotypical dog things. She likes to run, she likes to play fetch. She likes to snuggle. She has everything. <laughs> They're the best dogs. And y'all probably seen them in some of our videos yeah. more recently than you have seen the other pets. Um, but they are definitely the pets that hold this house together. Yes. <laughs> They're and, a lot of fun to have. And while they do look alike, they're actually not related. Yeah, not at all. We love our little black and white puppies. They look like little penguins or pandas. <laughs> they look like pandas, I guess. They do look like pandas. Junie, you're so cute. You're so good. Buggy's usually kind of camera shy, but she doesn't, she's not looking so weird right now. No, she kind of looks a little weird. She gets that little funny look in her eyes. Oh, you want to see her look weird? <laughs> yeah, we want to see her look. <laughs> okay, Buggy. Okay, Buggy. Don't be camera Smile shy. Smile at the camera. Smile, Buggy. Smile at the camera. She said, I don't know what to do with my hands. She's being awkward. She's being awkward. <laughs> <laughs> she's licking her lips. Aww. We love you, Buggy. Sweet baby, Buggy. And... For those of you that don't know, these dogs got their names. So she got her name Buggy because when we got her, she just loved to chase bugs and eat them, catch dragonflies. And the same thing for Junebug. Junebug loves all the bugs too. Like they'll run around and catch house flies in the house, which is really good. Yeah. And then outside sometimes they, they, they eat all the crickets and that's not good. No. Um, <laughs> but they do love no, to no. catch bugs. And no, no on the butterflies. You can't eat the butterflies, Buggy. Which 
They have, they've, they've never eaten a butterfly. They can't catch butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> but they can catch bees, but they learn their lesson. They, they grab the bees and then they get stung. And that right gene bug. <laughs> Silly puppy. So these are our two puppy dogs and they are gonna help us wrap up today's pet tour. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video and meeting all of our pets. If you have never met them before, I'm sure they had fun being on camera today and they especially had fun eating a bunch of treats. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give this video a like and let us know down in the comments section which pet was your favorite today. It's hard to choose, I know, but surely you have at least one favorite in mind. <laughs> We're, We're Colin Jay, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, punch Bye, the camera buggy. Yeah. Punch the camera.